<laughs> what makes a great air check? Now more than ever, it's important to have a good air check, a solid resume, but how important is that air check compared to the resume? How important is the resume? What does it need to look like? What needs to be in your air check? These are all common questions that we have as radio talent. So I reached out to a program director who's the program director of five different radio stations and APD at 1051 The Bounce in Detroit. His name is Jonathan J. Steele, and we're gonna talk to him about all the common mistakes people make on an air check, what he likes to see and hear, and I think what he says is pretty universal across the board for a lot of PDs. So let's get into this. If you ever wanted to know how to build a perfect air check, this is a great place to start. Well, obviously there's a lot of people out of work right now from COVID and they're gonna be wanting to get back into the game. Let's start with the resume. How important is the resume in your package? Uh, the resume is always important. Um, you know, I'm not, I'll be very honest. I'm not someone who looks at how many stops you've been and cause I, I've been around a lot, I've been around a lot myself. Uh, I'm more interested in um, the stops that you chose, you know, and, and where did you go? How did you grow in your career? Um, you know, so highlight the things and the jobs that if you have, you know, bounced around a lot, highlight the, you know, the jobs where that stand out. And for me, like we talked about the Cayman Islands, I don't put the Cayman Islands on my resume because I was only there for a month. Um, I, I was there. It did not work out. Um, there were a lot of things I found out after taking the position, which is why the position is, you know, available so much. Um, and, you know, it was also just hard on a personal level being far from home. So, you know, I don't highlight that or, or put that on my resume because it doesn't stand out in a positive way versus, you know, while I was with Mars Communications Group in Malone for only a year, at the tenor of the company, I've been there, you know, for almost six years at this point. As far as looking at the resume and mm -hmm. kind of skimming it, what is something that will, will immediately discount someone? Like you'll see it and you'll, oh, never mind. I don't think it's hard to do a resume because there's so many templates out. So when I see stuff that looks like it was thrown together or even better yet was used for something outside of radio, um, I immediately am turned off to that. Listen. If you are want to go take a job outside of radio, that's cool. I think you should have a resume that highlights those things that maybe you've done to be a good fit for that job that you're applying to. But in the in the radio industry, you know, um, if if you threw something together that you know I can tell that you know you went to Notepad on your computer and kind of saved it and it you know misspelling grammar is a big thing because again it's 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 not hard. It's okay if you're a bad speller. The internet will spell it for you. So just clean it up. Uh, I'm lowercase, you know, words and just it, things like that. You know, when, when things need to be uppercase or lowercase, have that look clean. Um, and I don't like anything that's too busy. Um, if you, you're trying to be cute with the fonts and, you know, you got so many things going on that makes it hard to read, I get very turned off. What is something that you've seen on a resume of someone that you've hired that you remember? Actually, I saw a resume that was so creative that it looked like a TMZ um, page. Hmm. And... It was so well done, um, and it it wasn't even so much that the person was you know was the right person or not you know for the job. It was just that I could appreciate the time that it took to, especially for Tap Forty Station, to build a resume that looked like TMZ. And um, and, the, and there were actually really good highlights on the resume as well. But um, I like I like outside of the box thinking. Um, I think it's cool. The next thing comes the air check. How important in the overall, like on a scale of, or give percentages. So how important percentage wise is the resume versus the air check and how important is the air check? You know what? I actually listen to the air check before I look at the resume. I think that's common, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the air check is uh, 90, percent important I'd, I'd say um i want to know what you sound like you know i i got in because you can have you know good stops so you could have a very clean resume but if you're not the right sound for the position then it automatically you know i'm not going to take the time to you know i still open the resume i i'm i'm the kind of person where i at least you know open what i receive but i'm not going to spend time studying the resume if the air check is really not good describe the good a good air check good air check for me um there's a number of things i listen for the first thing is get my attention from the very first break um i i think you should start and end with your best um and then the middle should have great stuff um you know the meat of, you know of it but you should always have that 
the boom, the attention you get it right at the beginning. The quality needs to be good. If you pull it off of a skimmer, that's cool. I actually appreciate that. Then I know the audio actually is from an actual show, um, but don't have it muffled. Um, you know, it needs to be very clean and clear. Um, and length is um, is important. Um, but I'm not like some where I say, you know, it needs to be two minutes or less. I know that a lot of people are. So I always, if anyone ever asks me, do I think it's too long? I'm like, listen, you know, a lot of programmers might not want to listen past two and a half, three minutes. So you might want to shorten or cut the, this break out. Cause I don't think it was, you know, anything very special. You know, why don't you trim it down? But for me, if I get a three and a half minute air check, if it's funny, if it's good, if it's compelling, I'll listen to the whole thing. Yeah. How do you feel about imaging? In the, Cause I hear air checks were start on like, <laughs> the, you're listening to Nick Steve. Yeah. And then he gets yeah. into the break. Like, how do you feel about no. those? No, no. Um, I, I don't think, uh, you know, that's not you. I want to hear you. Yeah. Um, and, I, and it's okay if you have, you know, a, a sweeper from an artist, something funny that you include in it. If you have, you know, an artist drop that, you know, say, he said something funny and it goes to a break, that's fine. But I don't like all the, all the produced uh, pieces at the beginning. And, and it slows down the air check. And I just want to hear you. Um, so give me, you know break 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 and you know after you get into the song you know two seconds into the you know the record give me the next break you know uh, some people feel like they have to just stretch it out a little too long and you know for me I, I i'm listening to hear you and how and what you sound like how do you feel about weather and news and time if it's news talk if it's a morning show if it's a position where you know you're gonna be a news anchor great if it's top 40 i don't need it even if, even if, you know, you'll be giving the weather on your show, you know, I, I trust that if you can do a great afternoon show that you can definitely, you know, handle a 20 to 30 second weather forecast. So I want to hear, I want to hear how you're going to sound like in your show. What tips do you have for, I guess, people that are putting together an air check right now? They have their best breaks ready to go. How should they, how should they go about it? One thing I always do before I put the air check together is I have every break. So I do it in Adobe. I have every break as its own, um, you know, its own audio track, own audio file. And I listen to them all and I, and I prioritize them. Uh, that's what I think will make it easy for you. If you listen to them all and there may be a couple that you're just not sure which one's better, go back and forth, listen to this side. This is the break that I'm going to start with. This is the break that I'm going to end with. These are my best breaks. All right. And then I'm going to get <clears throat> the, you know, the rest of the stuff, um, you know, in the middle and just, you, you kind of rank them and prioritize them. Um, I think air checks that are sloppy are just kind of taking breaks and then just throwing them all together and not caring which ones play where. So if you prioritize which breaks are the most important, you know, get 10, 15, however many breaks you want, um, <clears throat> figure out which ones. A lot of times I'll, I'll always get more audio than what I know I'm going to put in the air check. And then I'll end up, you know, just only taking the meat of what, uh, you know, what I want. There's a couple breaks that don't make it, but I rather do that than to just be like, oh yeah, you know, this is from this show, and just slap it all together. Some will ask for a, um, a, an, you know, unscoped or scoped air check, and you know, of course that's that's different. You know, provide that because people do want to hear what an overall normal radio show sounds like without you picking your best work. But I, I do think. Um, you know, prioritizing your breaks to be the best, I, I think, uh, will help. You don't care really about the length of it's entertaining. Is there a number of breaks that should be in there? Like, are you okay with one three-minute break? Or, you know, do you want 30 in two minutes? Like, what's, I guess, I don't know, it's a hard way to get Good gain, question. But like, what do you think? Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's, there's a magic number. But I think it should be multiple breaks. I, I want to hear different parts. Uh, you know, give me some stuff of, of give me some phoner stuff. Give me, uh, you know, you're doing station business. I, I, I like to break it down in categories. I got phoners. I got, sta and when I, when I say station business, you know, I'm, I'm doing a promo or a liner. Um, I'm promoting the morning show. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that relates to the radio station. Maybe it's a remote that I'm talking about. Um, you know, let me hear you do something with, you know, um, uh, a topic, you know, maybe maybe it's a, uh, you know, it's you're, you're doing something with the artist, you know, where you have you know, an interview, you want to include a little piece of that, 
you know, it's um, a quick 10 second over song rant. Let me hear that. I like to hear a variety. I do this for my own answers, a variety of different of different things. I think that stands out. Now, if that three minute break, you know, you want to do one. It better be the, the best damn three minute break I've ever heard. Yeah. For you to only give me one break out of the whole air check. I mean, it has to be so compelling that I'm sold by just that that just that break. That's a good point. Uh, so how about yeah. formats? Like, let's say you're hiring yeah. for a country station or the country station that you program. Does it matter if I send you the old, like, I've only done top 40, but I think I'm good for country. Like, does it matter yeah, if I sure. send you a top 40 break? No, I, I don't think, and, and I think, um, I'll tell you this, country and top 40 are very similar in delivery, as far as I'm concerned. I like top 40 jocks on country stations because yeah. I like country stations that have a top 40 delivery. Very young and fresh and, you know, fast paced. I, I like that on a country station, so I wouldn't mind. But I don't. I wouldn't want to hear an urban air check on a country station. It kind of has to stay within the same wheelhouse. Okay. If you're doing rhythmic, urban, and urban AC, top forty is fine. You know, if you're doing country, I don't want to hear hip hop. Um, but that doesn't. That's not saying that again. Because listen, I've done both hip hop and country. If all you've done is hip hop, but you're a country fanatic, you love country music, you think you can do the. You know, you you have the delivery. Send it. It doesn't necessarily. I mean, I, I'm gonna listen pretty quickly, and and I'll be able to know based on your delivery would be a fit or not. What's something else that I can do to stand out amongst everybody? I'll tell you, the one thing that I always do and I always look for is personalized, customized email. If you copy and paste, I've gotten I've gotten two things before. I've gotten one, you know, to uh, you know, to whom this, you know, may concern or to <laughs> this program director, um, you know, and it, it was nothing about the radio station that they were applying for. It was a, a pre-written general statement. Uh, and then I've had some where the station was wrong. Um, they copied and pasted and they forgot to edit. change the radio station. <laughs> um, so I, if you do your research, listen to the radio station. Listen to things that, um, that stand out. You know, if you're sending me something, Jonathan, um, you know, um, hope you're well. I'm sending this from Cali. Um, you know, listen to Whammo. Love the way the station sounds. Notice Dr. Dave's voice guy sounds excellent. Um, you know, I think this would be an excellent fit. You know, you know, however you want to word it. Um, those are the kind of when someone cares, when you care enough to take the time to look up the radio station, to do your research, uh, to to listen, you know, even to the radio station a little bit before you apply. I think those are extremely important things. Um, if you're just kind of copying and pasting, sending it to ten PDs in in a day. Um, you know, it, it can, you can, typically people can catch it, you know, we can, I can tell if it's been, you know, just my name's been swapped out for someone else's, you know, I'm hungry to, you know, take this opportunity. There's nothing about the radio station again. <laughs> and that's how, you know, you're just looking for a job. I want to know that you want this job. I can agree. To that. I mean, I'm not, no one would ever tell me to hire anybody, but I can agree with that. Uh, how do you <laughs> feel about customized air checks? Like what if, I go above and yes. beyond and like make, yes. you know, I'm not on the bounce, but I make a 105 one the bounce air check. That's excellent. I've done that um, many times, actually. I've, I, I actually would, when I applied for the Peoria gig uh, at Energy, I did a an air check um, that I had had from, I don't know if it was a hot AC station or maybe um, the Cayman Islands or whatever I included. Plus, I did a customized air check. Plus, I did a mix as well. Kind of top 40, you know, I can mix. I want to show off that I can DJ as well. So I included everything, and I was told later on after I got the gig from uh, the PD's wife, he was like, you know, he was so just surprised that you took the time to listen to the radio station. You knew about the morning show. You did a customized tape. You went above and beyond other applicants by, um, you know, taking the time to customize it. That, that's, that really is what puts you above the bar. So absolutely, I think if you have an opportunity to do something uh, – uh, do a customized tape to show how you would sound on that radio station. I love listening to those. As uh, you know, something else to stand out. How important are social media numbers? So let's say I have nine followers on on yeah. Instagram, and I'm applying for a top forty station. Yeah, unfortunately, um, and that actually held me back from getting a gig in San Francisco. I'm not, I don't look for you need to have fifteen thousand followers and be at every event, but it's certainly. You know, if I'm putting two applicants together and someone has a, they both have strong tapes and one of them is super active and, you know, and lives the lifestyle of the format and the other one is kind of 
pull sporadically, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the person I think that is going to be the better fit. Let's say um, I'm not very good on social media, but I happen to be a pretty good video editor. Like, is that something I should display? Uh, yeah, I think you want to show your skill set okay. because yeah, you can it can be used, you know, in many different areas. Um, you know, I don't think I don't think you necessarily point it out like, hey, you know, my social media is not great, but here's this. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you do highlight, you know, hey, here's a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of video, uh, short videos that I did as well. You know, I, I also, um, you know, edit, you know, I think that's that's super appropriate because then if I'm looking at your Instagram, just, you know, my own, I'm just like, yeah, the following, I got a thousand followers, but man. This guy's really good with videos. We could really use somebody that's on the streets and can take good videos and edit them and get them up on the website. This actually is something that we were looking to fill. You know that might that could certainly help your case. With all these things, there are websites that host things. So how do you prefer? How do you prefer to receive your air checks, yeah. your videos, your Facebooks? Like, I I always think that if I send you twenty links, uh, it's very sketch. I don't like sending links in emails, but I also don't want to overload your email box with like thirty megabytes worth of stuff. So how do you yeah. prefer to get things? I prefer to get it directly to the email, an attachment. Okay. You know, and really realistically, if your air check is you know, at the most three minutes, two and a half, three minutes, whatever, um, if it's the MP3 file, it certainly will fit in the email. So will your resume, um, and then you know, if you do want to highlight video and things that don't fit in the email i'm okay with the link you know to those things if i want to check it out but i'm here to look at the resume of the air check first of all no matter what i unless obviously i'm asking please attach imaging samples and then i would also want that attached in the email as well okay. but if it's a big video file that's not going to fit send a link to that i appreciate it for taking the time and, and helping people you know you never hear a pd's perspective on these things uh, that's what looks good as an air check and a resume and how important different things are and i think that what you said is pretty universal as far as i from pds that i've talked to like it's you know air check is super important if we want to get in hold uh, a hold of you or in touch with you how can we find you uh everywhere on social media um facebook like you found me jonathan j Steele, and, and the j is not my middle initial but it's what i go by on the radio okay. so uh jonathan j Steele. i'm also j Steele 1051 on instagram well thank you man i appreciate it thanks a lot i enjoyed this uh, thank you.